Okay, our last talk for the session is Ciro Moreno, who's going to talk about uh, co-location methods for second order systems. So, our purpose with this talk is to show that the usual collocation methods for trajectory optimization are fundamentally flawed when applied to second order dynamical systems like those in robotics. I will try to show you why and present our solution to this problem. To start with, let us recall the trajectory optimization problem. Suppose we have a robot for which we want to find an optimal trajectory Q of T minimizing a given cost function. This trajectory must fulfill some path and boundary constraints and satisfy the dynamics equation of the robot. To solve this problem numerically, a usual choice is to apply a collocation scheme. This consists in dividing the time domain into intervals and applying a quadratic rule to each interval to transcribe the continuous problem into a nonlinear programming one. This is done by imposing the constraints at a set of collocation points. The crucial part of this process is how to transcribe the continuous dynamics equation into its discrete counterpart, and this is the focus of our work. Usually, dynamics are described by a second-order differential equation, but usual collocation methods are designed for first-order systems with this form. So, to use these methods, in robotics, we typically reduce our problem by, to this form by defining the state vector x as qv and adding the constraint q equal to v. This results in this first-order system, which already has the form stated below. This reduction, which in the continuous domain is perfectly valid, leads to inconsistencies when the problem is discretized. In usual collocation, configuration and velocity trajectories are approximated using polynomials of the same degree. Collocation equations for the slope q dot k to match the vk value at the collocation points. However, q dot of t will be a polynomial of a lower degree than v of t, so the two polynomials will not coincide. This yields an inconsistency between the q and v trajectories. Moreover, since the two curves do not coincide, the derivatives will be different too. In this case, the, their values will be different even at the collocation points because no constraint is imposing their coincidence. So we have that the collocation constraint imposes this condition, but we have that these two values are different. So the second order dynamics equation is not satisfied at the collocation point. To solve these inconsistencies, in our approach, we directly impose the second order dynamic constraint at the collocation points, and we impose q dot equal to v on the approximation polynomials. As a result, we obtain new versions of the trapezoidal and Hermite Simpson collocation schemes that remove the inconsistencies and also present continuous accelerations. Here we see the collocation equations for the usual and new versions for such schemes. We can observe that the new equations are similar in complexity. The main difference is that usual scheme use uh, the state variables in, in the same way, but in the new schemes, we have different collocation formulas for the Q and V variables. To see how the new schemes compare to the usual ones in practice, we apply them to two benchmark problems from the literature, the car pole swing up and the five link bipedal walking problem. To measure the quality of the obtained solutions, we compute the second order dynamic error, which is the integral of the residual of the dynamics equation. Here we can see uh, how this error decreases with the number of time intervals for the usual schemes. This is for the bipedal problem, but uh, for the carpool, the plot is similar. Clearly, the Hermite Simpson schemes shows a much lower error compared to the trapezoidal schemes. But when we switch to the new schemes, the error for each method is reduced in more than one or ever two orders of magnitude, depending on the case. We can observe that this increase in accuracy doesn't come at the cost of additional running time, as new algorithms take about the same time as the usual counterparts to find a solution. So to wrap up, we can conclude that usual collocation methods yield inconsistent configuration and velocity trajectories, whereas the new methods we propose achieve trajectories with a much smaller dynamic error, satisfaction of the dynamic equation of the collocation points, consistency of the configuration and velocity trajectories, so less control effort will be required to track them, and continuous accelerations, which result in smoother trajectories 
and all that without increasing the computational cost significantly. Thank you, and I hope to see you at poster number 13.